All right, hello my friends and welcome back. My name is Sunny and today we're hopping back into Kingdoms and Castles with a modded playthrough. I'll take a quick second and go ahead and show you what we're rocking. We've got cinematic camera, cannons version 2, mini upgrades version 1, uh, place foresters anywhere, siege cauldron, pretty roads, and archer shoot on ships. So let's go ahead and hop into this thing. We're going to go with a standard mode, of course, and we're going to play on hard this time because we played on easy in our last playthrough. All right, so let's go with a large world, and we're just going to take a quick second here to find a seed that we like. This one is kind of interesting. I'm going to actually put it on land, and we'll go ahead and hop through here and try to find something that looks like fun. All right, so it looks like I finally found something that I like, and it looks really nice, actually. So we're going to go ahead and rock this seed. If you want to play on this map as well, I will leave the map seed down in the description below. All right, so we're going to go ahead and choose our orange banner, like before. And we are Sunny's Kingdom. And we're going to go ahead and hop right in here. So... We have a huge patch of fertile land right here in the middle, and also a ton of forest. My plan is to build our keep in a spot where we'll have enough room to be able to expand later on. There's some stone here, stone up there, some iron. Uh, looks like we have our witch's hut right here. A little witch's hut. Oh, trying to get in close so you can see it. Get rid of that. There you go. And like I said, we are playing modded, so that's what the witch's hut looks like. Looks really nice, actually. I like the little smoke effect coming out of the out of the doorway there. It's pretty funny. Um, we've got some stone back here, and two stone up here, and iron. That's a fully exposed iron. We'd be able to completely utilize that. Some more iron. There's some stone over here on this little island. Quite a bit of it, actually. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and set up shop right here, kind of in the middle of this forest. That's my plan, at least. And we'll use this stone to start with. We can put three quarries on it, so that that's going to be the plan. That is the plan, Stan. All right, let's see. Where's the front of our keep? There it is. So let's go ahead and get our keep kind of placed in the middle here, maybe off to the side a bit. I want to make sure that we have enough room to build a centralized castle location, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it down right there. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. So, once that's finished building, we will destroy the forest around, directly around ourselves, and start kind of building out some roads and whatnot. Okay, keep's done, so let's go ahead and grab our, our resource gathering here, and let's chop down all these woods. Just chop them all down. And then we'll place some roads uh, directly in front of our keep here. And we're going to go... I'm going to try and get it plotted out real quick. But I would like a... Maybe like a... I don't know. A 7x9 area for us to build in. Just for our castle. That's where we'd put like our treasure room. And our barracks. Archer school. That kind of stuff. Kind of make it look really nice, maybe enough space for a little garden with some fountains. Who knows? Something that I really like about this seed is all the little bits of water around, so we'll be able to utilize that for Noria's, which will be really awesome. Um, I'm hoping these guys... Oh, I know why they're going so slow, because we have it on one time speed. Let's speed it up a little bit. We'll get them to chop down as much wood as we can early on here. Shouldn't take them too, too long, I don't think. And then we'll start building some roads and houses and whatnot. Definitely want to... I mean, I could have cancel that and have them... We'll just build a little road. Where do we even want to start this? We want to maybe head backwards first. Let's actually cancel... Cancel that. And let's just chop down a straight path from the back here. A little like two by a two path straight down. Right there. 
Really? Listen to me. I think that's, there we go. So we'll just cut out a path right here and then we'll do a road that goes from here and then goes in front and we'll build a little rectangle around our keep and we won't build anything inside of it until we can start building like treasure rooms and building other stuff of that nature. So we should be good. We really just need to get some roads and then start building some houses. That's kind of the go-to. I could have placed down the keep somewhere where there wasn't any trees so that we could immediately start building, but I liked this spot, so <laughs> this is where we're starting out, even though it's covered in trees and so therefore will take time for us to be able to build anything. All right. Oh, well, I mean, that's what I wanted. Just I wanted more than just that one. Okay, so there's that. We'll get them building that. Then once they've done that, they'll finish chopping down these trees. Let's chop down a few more here. Let's actually just chop down that little section right there. And what that'll do is give us space to build a road. Or, sorry, to build homes off of this road. We just want to build a couple here and there. Really, we only need one to house our dudes. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. They'll start building that house. Voila! They all have a home. Fantastic. So, as you can see with the pretty roads, it no longer does that like weird circle thing. And instead, it joins together. Nice and, nice and smooth. Real pretty-like, as the mod would, you know, states. <laughs> it is very pretty. I like it. Um... We're going to have to chop down the rest of this, but first we're going to place a couple more houses so we can start gaining more people. We're going to go with four houses to start right here at the end, and then we'll get a go ahead and get our road built over here to the stone. We'll just do double up all the way there, and then one single road that goes off to the side here and that's going to be kind of my plan in general is I want to do double roads for like main roads and then do like small avenues off to the side all right we also have tons of fish over here which is really nice we'll be able to set up some fishing docks pretty early on let's go ahead and get some farms set up so that we can have some food which is also important I wonder, I would like to do a small area just for farms. So what I might do is chop down this section of forest right here. Let's actually, I think this is going to be the line for the keep. Yeah, so right here where we have these houses. And that would mean that we need to find somewhere else to place these farms. Which is fine, not a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and grab our road here. And we can drag it this way. Unfortunately, that wolf's den is kind of in our way, but let's uh, try that again. Let's go this way. We'll go off just like that. Uh, let's actually go in right there. And then we'll chop down all this stuff over here and we'll start farming over there so we also want to chop down all of that we do have people so we just gained a couple extra we're still trying to get things situated so that we can sustain our people but that's all right early game can be a little tedious at first especially when you plop down your keep in the middle of a forest and you have to chop everything down but it shouldn't take them too long, honestly. And once we have... Oh, we can start doing quarries here. We'll do two quarries, and I'll turn one of them off, because we don't really have the people to man two quarries. It'll be pretty much everybody. But getting two quarries will be nice, because then we'll have an 
income of stone and we can start building things like granaries and whatnot. Okay, so we've got this one's almost done. I think we also need stone for stockpiles. Yeah. So once we have a little bit of stone, we'll be able to start building some stockpiles and that'll help them store all of this lumber that's laying about from us chopping down the trees. All right. Fantastic. Let's turn this one off. These guys are not being stabbed currently because they are busy chopping down trees. So we'll let them go ahead and finish that up and we will start building our farms. Well, our first set of farms, I suppose, because I would like, I suppose we'll do a large group of farms all stretching all the way back here. That's kind of my plan. And this should be pretty solid space for the keep area. I think if we do, let's see, how long is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six long, I believe. And then that means we need to do probably eight or nine tiles this direction. So I should probably go ahead and count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so this road is a little bit... We need to go in one more. I'm gonna try and count this out so it looks nice and organized. There we go. Okay, so now we'll build farms from this section onward. So let's go ahead and plot some of those out real quick. We'll start right here since that's seems to be a pretty decent area. Okay, so that's three. I think that's going to be fine. Yeah, that should be solid. Okay, so... We've got one person that's hungry, not a big deal, not too bad. Uh, we do have farms now, so they should be okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this all the way down and around, and we're going to build farms. Unfortunately, we have that little, little patch of barren land there. Um, this should be fine. We'll go ahead and build this road, and we'll be able to put farms on either side. Except for where we have these barren spots, and I guess we'll have to find something to do there. Maybe put, like, a produce storage, or like a granary there or something. Alright, let's go ahead and get a cottage built. There we go, one cottage there, and let's get one here. Let's also go ahead and get a stockpile. We'll get a stockpile built right here on in the front of the quarry. And we will need a small granary, but we are missing the stone, so we'll have to wait for that. And I think we need, what, um, ten stone? Five stone. Okay, so not a big deal there. Five stone should be pretty easy to uh, come up with once they finish building and it really shouldn't take them too long to build this stuff we've got one hungry person two hungry people but we're starting to store some food here we will go ahead and probably build a small granary right here in this small little open spot seems like a pretty decent space for it one thing that I think they should add to this game is maybe like a a blueprint mode I think that would really be nice just for the user. Basically, if you don't have the resources for something, if you're able to build it, like, and you're just missing the resources, you can place it down and kind of plan out where you want everything to be and then enable it once you're ready for it to be built. That would be really nice to have. Like, 
Banished has a pause system, and pausing is kind of like a blueprint mode. You plop down the building. Oh, you might be able to pause these, actually. But you can't plop down the building until you have the resources to do so. Like, it's grayed out here. But I think if I were to place this hovel, I can pause it once it's placed. It would just be nice if you could pause a building even if you, like, place it and pause it even if you don't have the resources to build it. At least in my own opinion. Um, so we're doing okay. We have food. We have... Woohoo! We're a small village. 26 people already. Look at us go. We're zooming straight through here. Alright. So they're gonna need a well. And I can place a well right here. How much do we have? We have 8 stone and a well costs 10. Oh, we have 18 stone. Okay, so we can place a well and we can do our granary. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I want the granary right here. Facing... Yeah, just like that. That looks good. And that'll be a good start to uh, storage. It obviously won't last forever, but that's okay. We can go ahead and plot out these farms. Only issue is, is I don't want to do that just yet. I would like to maybe finish building this stuff out a little bit. Maybe chop down some of these trees. We've got one idle person. Four idle people, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and chop down these trees here. And hopefully we'll be able to get that done relatively fast. Likely what's going to happen is everybody's going to stop what they're doing and they're going to come over here and chop down all these trees. And it should go really quick. That's the hope at least. And once we get that cleared out, I'll kind of plot out the road for the, uh, the keep area so that we know where not to build. I mean, I already kind of have an idea, but this should hopefully look nice. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our wood or our road here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, we went with six, so we'll do this. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a six by eight. Then this will have to be six in front of it. So I'll have to clean out a strip in front here. So let's go ahead and do that. I want it to be even with this one. Even Stevens. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's clear out that. And then we should be able to build the road there. And we'll obviously have to deal with the uh, the rest of the trees later on. I won't worry about it too much right now. I'm just trying to kind of get it plotted out. Are you serious? Our keep is on fire? I'm going to assume that the keep can't actually burn down. Or if it can, that would be insane. Okay. That's nuts. I've never seen that before. All right. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just double checking. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So that is even on both sides and then we'll go eight out that is a huge area now that I'm looking at it like it's gonna go from here all the way around eh. hopefully it'll look nice I mean that's all I'm going for is I want it to look good so that's our plan in this 
particular playthrough is I want everything to look amazing. Currently, we're stuck with these wolves' dens, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And this is going to be not great. Like, we're going to have to move this housing at some point. I actually may go ahead and start building up some housing over here. We'll do one there, and let's do one here. That'll be fine. I, I want to move this house at some point, probably after these are finished. Sorry, had a little bit of lag there. Uh, I'll probably destroy this house because it's right next to this quarry, and that's going to bring down its happiness. I don't know if farms bring down happiness. I don't think it does, but I, I'm i not too sure, so we'll have to, have to see on that one. Um... We're going to need a couple more little houses here as well. Also get a tavern, I suppose. So let's set up a tavern right here. Um, Actually, it would probably be better over here. Although I've put myself in a little bit of a predicament. I could put it in the middle of this thing. So that it reaches everything. Kind of like that. Then we could build a little road to it. That won't look too bad. So let's go ahead and do that. Not too sure why I keep dropping frames, but I'll definitely edit that out in post. So you guys don't have to look at it. Alright, so we've got our little tavern being built here that will increase our happiness. And then... I'm pretty sure that this house here, yeah, that house there is not happy at all. This should increase overall happiness. Yep, see, that one just increased. This one doesn't have charcoal. Uh, they want neighbors, and that's looking like pretty much it. So we need to give them neighbors. I guess that quarry is not affecting it too much. We could plop a little hovel here if that'll increase their happiness. Um, how are these guys doing then? No charcoal. So I could start making some charcoal. My big problem is... What's the issue? Why are we, why are we unhappy again? I'm so confused. <laughs> We were happy, and now it's dropping. Uh, um, okay. So, they want fruits, which I can provide. Let's go ahead and hop in here, and let's make us some orchards on the other side. You know, actually, I might go ahead and just do one here and one across here. I want to make sure that the farms have enough space, so let's do that. Um, that's wrong. Hold on. Sorry, guys. There we go. Alright. So, I think... If you have a windmill in the center of this one, and then a windmill right here, these farms right here get double the production. I'm not too sure if it stacks, but I think that it does. That's why I did that. Um, that's how I'm going to plot these out, at least, with the assumption that that's how it works. Um, let's go ahead and get some more of these placed. I'm going to turn off a lot of these. We do have quite a few idle people, but I don't want them building just farms. Is that right? Yeah, it looks right to me. Because that would be three, right? One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. We're just using the center to piggyback. Alright, so we've got some of these guys. 
plotted out. Let's go ahead and close this section here and we'll close the next se section. I can talk. The next section once we get over there and get it finished. Let's speed this up a little bit because they are moving at a snail's pace. I'm not sure why, but they were. Um, we'll also want to go ahead and maybe build some little defenses here. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to build them kind of in place of where we're going to put the wood or the stone walls. Um, I think this is a good spot. And we'll also want to go ahead and tear down this little section of forest here. I mean, the whole thing's going to have to come down at some point, but right now that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get another stockpile built. Stockpile built right there. And I'd also like to get some charcoal makers, but I know if I place charcoal makers here, these guys are going to be real unhappy. And I don't really want that. Um, I'm not too sure. What's up with these guys? Why are they not happy? They don't have any other... Okay, so if I can get some fruits made, which I was working on. I was trying to get that plotted out so I knew what to do. Let's just get three orchards plopped down. That's horrible. What am I doing? We want to make this lined up with the other farms so that was not ideal there we go let's go that way uh, that looks much better okay so now we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a produce storage and plop that down right there on top of the barren land because we're not going to be able to build farms there regardless and that's uh, looking pretty good so once we get this section cleared out it's funny how i've managed to line this up with the wolves den so that i'm gonna have to have a little gap there let's go ahead and have these trees chopped down anything that's in this line shouldn't take them too long to do and we'll build a road coming out here connecting up with our keep we have this little area here which is really nice and what I think I'd like to do is build city stuff so like housing and whatnot out here and build a bridge that connects it maybe we could do housing along this border here with a little dock area we'll have to see what happens what transpires as we continue to play so I cleared out this area so that I could build another little wall. There we go. So that wall is we're going to eventually put an archer tower on top of, but we need a treasure room. So we could go ahead and do that. I would like to clear out some space for it. Okay. Well, while they clear that out, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off right there. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of our start so far. Uh-oh. The dragon's coming. What a great time to end a video, huh? All right. Well, let's, uh, let's wait and see where he comes from. I will go ahead and let you know that we do have a Discord channel, and you can find a link to that down in the description below. Also, if you're enjoying the Kingdoms and Dra or the Kingdoms and Dragons, the Kingdoms and Castles content, be sure to subscribe. You can catch the episodes right here, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we're gonna have a look at this dragon before we uh, before we hop out. Where is he at? Here he is. All right. Well, if I'm not wrong, and I don't think that I am. Most of the time, the first dragon attack, he just comes in and he inspects the kingdom. And then he kind of dips out. So, we should be good as far as this goes. I hope. Maybe he he's feeling spunky today and he's going to burn it down. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like he's just kind of having a peek, having a look. That's going to drive down our happiness, though as they will be afraid of the upcoming dragon attacks. 
All right, later, dude. All right, guys. Well, I've already did my, I've already done my outro. <laughs> I've already done my outro. So, as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next episode.